Welcome to the audio described version of the Rain Shadow episode of the Granite Desk series. Two park rangers, Simone and Sarah Jane, sit at a large, flat, desk-like granite rock with desert vegetation and more rocks behind them. A Chiron bar with a Joshua Tree icon says Granite News Desk. Hello and welcome to the Granite Desk. I'm Ranger Sarah Jane. And I'm Ranger Simone, and we're coming to you from Joshua Tree National Park. Text on screen, Ranger Simone. One of the special things about Joshua Tree is that it's a desert. Park landscape with desert plants and Joshua trees, followed by a shot of the park's brown hills with the snow-capped San Bernardino Mountains beyond. A desert is a place that has extreme temperature and does not get very much rain. Students often wonder why this place is so dry. And today, we'll explain with a little help from our friend, Ranger Kylie. Time lapse of the sun setting behind a Joshua tree. A cottontail rabbit looks toward the camera. A time lapse of Joshua trees with their shadows moving along a granite face. A desert tortoise slowly walks along the ground. Purple lupin flowers wave in the breeze. A time lapse of the sunset over the park landscape with the words granite desk in large block letters and the episode title rain shadow printed smaller. Return to the rangers at the granite desk. Text on screen, Ranger Sarah Jane, followed by a shot of Sarah Jane pointing at the San Bernardino Mountains. Actually, I can show you why this place is a desert. These mountains. Um, the mountains? That's why this place is a desert? What exactly do the mountains have to do with it? Ranger Kylie stands among desert plants with the San Bernardino Mountains behind her. Text on screen, Ranger Kylie. The mountains are the reason we have a desert here. Joshua Tree is located in Southern California, only a few hours drive from the Pacific Ocean and Los Angeles. LA gets about 14 inches of rain per year, but here in Joshua Tree, we only get about four. What do we think that is? A sketch of Southern California shows the Pacific Ocean, LA, Joshua Tree National Park, and a long line of mountains between the park and the coast. A hand draws clouds over the ocean, with arrows showing them moving toward the mountains and the park. Here's Joshua Tree in Southern California, with LA and the Pacific Ocean. Water from the ocean evaporates into the air and forms clouds. Wind pushes the water-filled clouds east towards Joshua Tree. A new sketch shows a side view with LA on the left side, Joshua Tree on the right side, and large mountains in between. A hand draws clouds moving to the right, running into the mountains. A hand draws the clouds moving up and over the mountains with raindrops falling on top of the peaks. The clouds then continue moving to the right over the park. Here's the view from the side. As the clouds move east from the coast toward the park, they run into a big obstacle, the San Bernardino Mountains, which are over 11,000 feet tall. When the clouds run into these big mountains, there's nowhere to go but up, where it's colder, and the water vapor condenses and turns to rain. It's kind of like wringing out a sponge. Once the clouds have lost that water to rain, they may keep floating over toward Joshua Tree, but there's not much water left in them to create rain here. Scientists call this a rain shadow desert. Text on screen, rain shadow desert. Just because we're in a rain shadow desert doesn't mean it never rains in Joshua Tree. A shot of the park landscape with storm clouds, Joshua trees with snow falling, and the Choya Cactus Garden with a lightning strike in the background. We get rain and sometimes even snow in the winter, just way less than they do on the other side of the mountain. We also get some pretty epic thunderstorms here during the summer. Rain is super important to the plants and animals that call Joshua Tree home, especially when the dry seasons here can last up to six to eight months. The park landscape with a rainbow in the distance, a sunset time lapse with yellow and orange mounds of wildflowers, and a rabbit nibbling on a green cactus. Then we return to Sarah Jane and Simone at the granite desk. Winter rains prompt plants to start growing, so we get beautiful wildflower blooms in the spring here, and animals also rely on these plants for food. This has been Ranger Kylie for the granite desk. Back to you. Thanks, Ranger Kylie. Wow, you were right, Sarah Jane. Those mountains are the reason why this place is a rain shadow desert. It's amazing how an area's landscape can affect the climate there. In turn, the climate affects what plants and animals live in a place. What's the landscape like where you live? What plants and animals live there? Thanks again for joining us on another Granite Dusk adventure. What will we explore next? Text on screen. Video by Perry Sassnet. Production assistant, Alessandra Puig-Santana. Additional footage by Christy Rudd, Hannah Schwalbe, Shay Spatz, Glauco Puig-Santana, Leon Law, Emily Hassel. Graphics by Alessandra Puig-Santana. Text on screen. Joshua Tree National Park acknowledges the Kawiya, Chemoevi, Serrano, and Mojave people as the original stewards of the land on which the park now sits. We are grateful to have the opportunity to work with the indigenous people in this place.
We pay our respect to the Indigenous people past, present, and emerging who have been here since time immemorial. The NPS Arrowhead logo on a black background.